Hi guys, I almost said good morning. It is definitely 3.39 p.m. It is Friday, so welcome to a week in, no, a weekend in my life vlog. This weekend is oh so festive as always. I've been using my festive nut pods right now. Here we go. I just made myself a coffee. Hope you guys are having a great day. Remember, Breadwinning Housewife merch is on sale, 10% off until the 20th. Anyways, this weekend is a very festive weekend of my life vlog. Tonight, we are actually road tripping to East Texas. Three of my closest friends and I booked um, like a train ride on the Polar Express. We're in our 20s, it's okay. It's fine. Um, and it's two hours away, so we decided we might as well just like road trip and get a cute little Airbnb in East Texas. So we're driving there in a few hours. Also look at my mug. Tomorrow, my friends are doing a white elephant. I have an extra love sack, so I'm bringing a love sack to the white elephant. Selfishly, I like want one of them to have it at their houses, so I'm like hoping that they win it. My, my odds are honestly pretty good. It's a little festive Christmas weekend in my life. I'm finishing up the week in my life vlog as we speak. If you guys haven't been catching up on the vlogs, Listen, I'm giving you something great to do. We have like hour long vlogs, okay? How long do you guys like the vlogs to normally be? But I wanted to give a quick thank you to the sponsor of this vlog, which is Simple Health. Simple Health is such a cool concept. I'm actually really excited to share it with you guys because getting birth control can just be such a like daunting and overwhelming process. I originally went on birth control when I was, I think like, 15 16 years old I have really bad periods and I was literally fainting like at school and I was in the nurses on the same day of every single month that I was just in so much pain and birth control helped me so much essentially simple health is birth control simplified the idea is that everyone deserves access to birth control they have online prescriptions automatic refills and free home delivery I mean like if I had this when I was first getting on birth control that would have been a much better, much, much, much better process. Yes, it can be covered by most insurances. If not, it can be as low as $7 a month without insurance. It's important to know that this isn't a replacement for your routine checkups. I mean, this truly just makes getting birth control so much easier. Again, free home delivery, online prescriptions, automatic refills. It's really important that you're consistent with birth control and I'm queen of like not going and picking up my prescriptions and that's really bad for you. They simplified the process so much, made it so much easier. I mean like this is such a gift. Access to a doctor, insurance status, cost shouldn't prevent people from getting birth control. So again, this is so important. They're cutting down the barriers for all of those individuals. It is absolutely incredible. The packaging is discreet when you get it delivered to your house. The Simple Health doctors can prescribe over 100 versions of the pill as well as the patch or ring. They're personalizing this based on your preferences and health profile. It's very reliable. They have licensed doctors that help review the product and review every Every patient so if you guys want you can use code Kenzie for either $20 off or a free consultation so you literally have nothing to lose use code Kenzie 20 this is really really incredible and so important and I love that they're doing this and I love that they sponsored today's video I'm very grateful um, to share this with you guys so again code Kenzie 20 for either a free consultation or $20 off. Okay, anyways, I need to pack, I need to finish this vlog. We've got a few things that we need to do before we're out the door. I'm driving, it's a little bit of a road trip, it's only like two hours away, but I also need to like get ready, do my hair, all that stuff. Car is packed, Jess is on her way, and we're picking up Presley. I normally don't vlog, I mean, I vlog with Jess because I went to college with her. I don't really vlog with my Dallas girlfriends really often. Presley and I have been friends since uh, like fourth grade. We were besties in elementary school, so we just grew up together. We're about to go. I'm really excited. I'm really hungry. I probably should have eaten dinner before leaving. I don't know if we're grab. I feel like we're gonna grab food. Speaking of, this is my Facebook memory from 11 years ago. Presley was on crutches and we made this, the Miss Me jeans, I mean, wow. Guys, we're matching and going into CVS right now for our road trip snacks. I either want white cheddar Cheez-Its or Muddy Buddies, but like they have to have more than this aisle. Like Chex Mix, the chocolate one. Chex Mix? No, I know Chex Mix. Oh, uh, maybe you'd recognize it. It's like the, a really popular road trip snack. I think there's a toast on that place. You think we should get some for like a late night snack? Yeah. The way you said toaster, I, I just thought morning toast. Wait, s'mores. I'm shocked. Okay, <laughs> Jess is a health queen. God, I remember that. I just like, hit me like a fucking train. I was like, fuck. Here's my I love pop tarts. Wow, that's very exciting, guys. Oh, this sorry. is the snack aisle that I needed to be on this whole time. It's much better. <laughs> 
you are extra careful. Oh my god, system processing. Here we go. Jess, it's your first time. This is a really big deal. This is very exciting. It's also the fact that we're wearing matching yeah. red running housewife sets. So no, it's cute. Jess, like you really have to understand Bucky's to get it. Like the kids. Dom literally has a hoodie that's Bucky's. Like, like she the, saw it, she came and she saw it, she conquered. Wow. I'm sure this is gonna taste better just because it's not from Bucky's, you know? Like, I just know that it's true. Oh Literally, our dream come true. Why does my hair look red with this filter? Am I crazy? It's really that an exciting so time. They have Christmas music playing at Bucky's. You don't understand. No. Before it was a Home Alone soundtrack. Oh. I would know now. You know. Yeah, one night. Oh, white elephant get party tomorrow. So Presley is like literally buying out Bucky's. This is the hoodie that Dom has. Oh my God! We show up wearing those. Wait, that's actually kind of funny. I wish it was Hilarious. actually ugly sweater I themed. That is so funny. Oh my god. That's not that's, real. Uh, that's actually Next so time they tell us it's jersey themed. <laughs> yeah, literally. <gasps> wow. Yo, I mean you're buying at the store, Presley. Wait, what is it? Texas <laughs> girl. Oh my god. <laughs> Forever. This one says Texas Mama. Guys, which one should we get for Dom? <laughs> Texas Mama. You know what? The thing about that too that's so messed up is that she would wear it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Problem. All the Texas memorabilia, like this. Like, why would I actually use that? You know? How many like, I need this. I just think that things are so funny. I have those, but I broke them actually. A flask. Do you own a flask? Yeah. I don't. Um, I don't know where it is. I know I've had one before. I did get a vanilla crust rose. Oh, excuse me. Ooh, uh, is it good? I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. So don't mess really with good. Texas. Feeling the Texas vibes, guys. Presley literally just bought out Bucky's. I'm not kidding. Like, white elephant is really extreme. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh my god. I feel like so I'm in like, a secret garden. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I just got one of those installed in my house today, actually. Oh, oh thanks. <gasps> Happy holidays! Wow. How sweet. Wow. They have a Keurig. Wow. A guest book. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's stairs? No way. Here. Wow. It's so cute. Oh, cute. Oh my gosh. Wait, I have a tree like that. There's, huge yeah, there's a lot of here. beds. <gasps> Wait, this is so fun. This is actually so fun. I love this place. Honestly, I would like to live here. I always, when I lived in LA, I really wanted to like score some random like wealthy families. <laughs> guest house, I never did, but it was always a dream of mine. Adorable. Oh, a nice clothing rack. They think of everything here, the enchanted coffee. Good morning, guys. I'm gonna make some coffee. This Keurig, for some reason, reminds me of college, but I have no idea because I never had it in college. <gasps> Presley, they have Christmas mugs. I rinsed it, don't worry. No, I'm not that prepared. I got foundation on my new Mad Happy sweatshirt. Stop. Yeah, like, look at it. That's a big swatch. Yes. I'm in, I don't know why. You know, I've never had a mad happy sweat, mad happy sweatshirt. Isn't that crazy? Did you give me one for Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> that wasn't even close <laughs> to being a one. That was so unnecessary. <laughs> no, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, I think if I Presley does not have a tie stick, if I don't have a tie stick. Wait, did you see the back of this one? Tell me this isn't funny. Did you watch her? No. My like, curvy enthusiasm, like that's hysterical. It's really cute. You should watch Curvy Enthusiasm. It's such a I really show. should. I'm really bad at watching shows. Maybe in 2022, I'll make my book goal only 50, and then I'll re I'll watch three shows. 
You should try and like be like more of like a docu series gal. Cause like oh, I love docu series. But like an educational TV. Like uh, that's like your like your. No, I am, I'm like love documentaries. Oh, I literally. Love I them. I watch every documentary. Like with Filthy Rich, I was so quick. All that. Yeah. Wesley, I'm gonna rinse out a, a Christmas mug for you. Thanks. Um, Wesley, do you have a tag stick? A what? A tag stick. A tag stick. Tag stick. stick. Like to get a stain out of something. Oh no. See, well, I don't know why you would ever think that either of us would that. Okay. No, like, like I got. Stuff. I got foundation. Oh. 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 This is my version of an eyeshadow roller. Oh. Tell me about it. Oh. Using ice on your face. This is my version of an eyeshadow roller. Tell me about it. Oh. This is my version of an eyeshadow roller. Tell me about it. Oh. This is my version in hotels, I've had to do this before shoots to get really? my face down. Yeah. Why do you, I've done like a bowl of ice water and dumped my face in. It's like, I'm about to start taking like three minute cold ice showers. Not ice showers, cold showers. Wait, for what? There's just so many health benefits. My brother's like so into them. It like, my brother used to have really bad rosacea um, and all of his redness has gone away. All of his acne has gone away. I mean, I don't have those. I used to have like, like redness more. Yeah. Um, Here's all the water, don't worry guys. But there's a lot of health benefits to it. Interesting. Yeah. And it's like, I think if you do something you don't want to do in the morning, something good. There's something good about it. Yeah, I think everyone should do things that they don't want to do. This generation's too soft. Yeah, it is. People, oh, happiness. <laughs> Did you notice my, um, <laughs> just what happened? I had anxiety yesterday. So I peeled off one whole hand of nails. Before you left? Or in my car. No, no, no. Or like the yesterday morning. I was like, morning. did I do something? No, yesterday morning I did. Oh, yeah, that sucks. Yeah, it's awful. And now I'm just like an idiot. And I bit my regular nails down to this. Like, my regular nails were long. I haven't had anxiety nails, like, in... That's why I get acrylics. Yeah. I don't, that's actually an anxiety thing that I don't have with nails. Or I don't do. I don't like, I don't want to This do thing hates me, by the way. Did you... Is the back of our Airbnb. It's so cute. There's this beautiful pool. This Airbnb is so cute. If you're ever coming to East Texas, we have our coffees. We're leaving the Airbnb. It's really just perfect. I feel like I'm in Gilmore Girls. Yeah. This is good enough for me. It's so cute. We found this restaurant online. This is where we're going. It smells incredible. I'm very, I really trust them. I'm feeling good about it. I am like living a nice, like cute little hole in the wall restaurant. They're always the best. Tacos are two dollars. Everyone, wow. You know, I love creamer. Guys, be honest. Do I look out of place in my leather coat? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but yeah. I wasn't kidding. I know, but okay. I'm deciding between this bean and egg plate. I've never been happier to have tacos. What? I'm deciding between this bean and egg plate, which sounds. Like this this looks so oh, looks good. So Perfect. All right, 1391. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. We just got Starbucks. We stopped at Walgreens. Oh my gosh, we're about to head to the Polar Express. We're so excited. Which is what we've been looking forward to for <laughs> weeks. It was Presley and I's idea. Um, Presley and I think that we are Mrs. Claus. Yeah, Miss and Miss. Yeah, when we have kids, it's yeah. gonna be um, Claus squared. <laughs> we like think your mom is like the most incredible Christmas woman, and like yeah. she'll be our idol. Yeah, she yeah. is. She is our role model. If you we guys... will be ten times worse by the time we get to the age of forty. So yeah, be literally. Worse. Yes, like if you guys saw the Kardashian Christmas party basically that we went to last weekend, <laughs> that was actually Presley's mother, and it was the most insane thing I've ever been to, and I've been to like really insane. Events and I'm talking like brand events like yeah, it was well, just was like yeah No, it was like a whole other dimension. We like everyone every day. It's been brought up. It was just like <laughs> We've been talking about it for the past week. Yeah, like oh we'll never stop talking about it Absolutely. never <laughs> so what was your Starbucks order today? I got My grande vanilla sweet cream cold brew with peppermint my normal winter order. Yeah, Jess just got a cold brew She's stronger than us I'm just like, I'm, I'm made different, you know? And then Presto, what did you get? Well, I got a shaken espresso made with oat milk and it but tasted it was, so bad. It, was, it sounded I'm gross. freezing, but yeah, so I threw mine away. So mine is no longer like Oh, you threw it away. Do you want to stop by again? here in spirit. No, it's okay. It's fine. Are you sure? Yeah, I want to stop She's had a really bad luck with coffee today. Wait, so. that long ass line. We're going to the Polar Express now, guys, so it's exciting for us. We've made it to the Polar Express. 
Yes, we are the only people, I'm sure here, everyone, like, they're all children. Um, we're the only adults here without kids. But can you blame us, okay? Like, this One, is... and three. Yeah, the only ones. <laughs> We walked on and they were playing the music. It's so cute. We have our little seats here. Wow. Even having a good time, Jessica. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, perfect. <laughs> it has a polar fest. Oh my god, we have to go. Oh my god, stop. I'm dying. Oh my god, thank you. I am actually dying. This is wow. Oh my god. He's on his way. We're having more fun than five years. I'm not I'm literally Show them the tickets. Oh, we have the tickets. Don't worry. He's gonna be like, you guys want yours punched? Oh my god, look at them dancing. Play cool, play cool, play cool. We don't want to like bombard him. I'm playing cool. Of course you are. I actually know the conductor. We're on a first name basis. We're tight. We go with that. We go way back. Hey, how are you? <laughs> that was just magical. Okay. Sit. <laughs> oh my God. Where is he? He's on. <laughs> okay. Santa's giving us Santa's on his way. I actually don't think I've laughed that hard. I don't think I've had this much fun since I was nine. No, literally. I'm. Oh my God. Can behind us? Yeah. I'm like Santa. Are you guys getting nervous? I wish you were Yes. Thank you. Thank you. They think of everything here at the Polar Express. It literally says, the Polar Express. Thank you. Oh my God. So cold. Okay, that was so fun. What did the experience that was? 10 out of 10, I've never laughed so hard. We saw Santa, we were the only adults without children, but it was worth it. It was so fun. You know what the biggest perk was? What? The hot dad. Yeah, oh yeah, we're sitting next to a hot dad. dad. Cool. Just like wouldn't talk to him because she had a crush. His son oh, was twelve. Like, how old was his son? Like old. He yeah. sent it, you, he just sent me a photo like my of right after I was born. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was, like, Ew. <laughs> <laughs> my dad's looking through baby photos. He's sending really cute photos and like they're very sweet oh, messages. That time, like. I'm actually he goes, kidding. welcome to the world. This is my first time to hold you and I will never let go. That's oh, so sweet. That's really cute. He's really feeling sentimental today, but the photo I could have done without. Yeah, he misses me, guys, clearly. That's really cute. Do you have a charger well, in the world? So I'm getting What a road trip back. We had BFS all in the background. It was such a fun drive. We listened to country music the whole way. It was a really good time. Came back, changed really quickly. We're going to a white elephant party tonight. Um, I'm bringing a love sack as the white elephant gift. I actually forced them to throw the white elephant party because I needed somewhere to put this because I got sent to basically and long story short. Anyways, here's my outfit. I think we're just going to our friend's house, but who knows? Honestly, this is one of those nights where like 
I could be really chill, come home at midnight, or the opposite could happen. <laughs> and you really never know with me. So we will see. Um, I'm obviously not gonna vlog tonight. I'll get some clips, I'm sure, for the, um, whatever it's called. Boys would eat it up if you were to vlog in front of them. Are you kidding they me? They would probably love it a little bit too much. Oh I'm god, not vlogging. The like... Landon was in all my OG videos, you know, right? Oh my god. We yes. have like many sit down videos on my vlog yes. channel. Yeah, he's been in many. He was OG. Um, so I forced Sorry. Landon to throw this party is what we're getting at. Um, anyways. So funny. I'm dying. No, it's so funny. And it's like when he was like so much shorter, he was at least a foot shorter. Yeah, so. All right, well, we're off, guys. I brought a love sack to White Elephant and ruined friendships of 10 plus years. Happy Sunday, guys. What a great weekend, let me tell you. Last night was so much fun. So I brought the love sack to White Elephant. I actually like, made them have a White Elephant party because I wanted to bring that as my White Elephant gift to the boys' house because I knew it would be great there and then I can use it there. It's honestly very selfish. It was just so fun. I know I say this all the time. And honestly, maybe this is encouragement for you guys. I obviously like chose to move back to Dallas. I grew up in the suburbs of Dallas and I was actually talking to some people last night at the bars and they were like, it's so crazy. Like I never thought I would move back here. And it was like, the best decision I've ever made. Like I think people think you moving home or like moving home. I, I didn't, I did move home, but like I didn't grow up in Dallas. I grew up like 45 minutes north as like a failure of some sort. And while like I chose to, I just wanted to live in Dallas. Um, I think that's a really common thing of like looking at moving home as like a failure or whatever. And there's so many people who have had to move home just in the past year of the pandemic. And they're like, oh my God, I ended up having so much fun. And the first like six months, they're like, I was miserable because I didn't leave my house and I wasn't even like reaching out to people, hanging out, making new friendships, whatever. And now that I'm like out with people, it's so much fun. And then it got me thinking, and this is something Dom said too. And it's like where you're at, it's like where you're at, just like invest in it. On it, just like leaning into the culture, if you will, is fun. Of like wherever you're at, even in like an organization job, it always teaches that in our internship. If you guys are in a phase in your life, it doesn't matter where you live, doesn't matter what you're doing, that you don't love, I would, I feel like oftentimes I'm like talking about like how to get out of it, how to change it, whatever, but honestly like maybe lean into it a little bit more and give it more of a chance. Like give it a little bit more of a shot. You never know what will happen. If you would have told my 18 year old self that I would end up living in Dallas, I would have honestly never believed you. I never planned on moving back. And over time I ended up realizing how much I love Texas and had a life here. And then ultimately I ended up wanting to move here. My 18 year old self, if she knew that, would probably be miserable and like have hated my life. And now that I'm here, Obviously, it was the best decision I've ever made. We were talking, and I was like, it's so crazy to think about this time last year to this time this year now. And, like, I am the happiest I've ever been. I feel the most me. I feel the most content. I'm so fulfilled. Like, I just feel so good. And this time last year was probably one of the worst parts of my life. Like, one of the worst times where I felt the complete opposite. And a lot could happen in a year. You never know. I'm sure like a year from now, I'll be like, oh my God, my life was so different. We have my Starbucks. We went and grabbed some Starbucks this morning. I actually have my groceries delivered. Here is a quick little grocery haul. This is not from the grocery store, but I did get a label maker. More stuff you have to look forward to when you're 24, okay? I wanna make homemade chicken noodle soup, chili, and then a few other things this week. So I got chicken, ground pork, ground beef, salmon, bread, celery, carrots, smart sweets, peppers, broccoli, egg noodles, chicken stock, eggplant, cheese, avocados, onions. I think that's actually it. Lots of cooking this week. I really wanna get back into it. I'm feeling good about it. I'm feeling good about working out, cooking at home. It's just my favorite thing. Also, this morning, I watched the first episode of In Just Like That. First off, name is weird. Second off, why did they do that? Have we not suffered enough? Like, oh my God, I won't spoil it for you guys, but like, what was that? No, absolutely not. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It's Sunday, so I need to edit this vlog and cook and just get a bunch of stuff done around the house. Hope you guys enjoyed, I love you guys so much, and I will see you tomorrow, bye. Unfortunately, when you're an entrepreneur in these early days, like it's seven days a week, you know, mm -hmm. it doesn't turn off. I'm I'm hoping I can get to a place where I can have some days off and, and have more of a, of a quote-unquote balance. Yes. But I don't know. For my personality, I don't know if I'll ever get there. 